I didn't see the rainbow, eh? There goes the other side of it. Um. It's amazing when the light's like this, it really is. Yeah, I just want to record the moment. The Lord's showing me some really wild stuff right now, right at this time stamp. So that's sort of why I want to record it. dark cloud there in the middle of that rainbow so can't really see it we can only see the end of it <gasps> definitely in front so Satan is a subtle beast isn't he but you know The Lord manages to capture him. Like a bird in the hand, eh? And somehow, when it all just seems not, not possible, he manages to speak. Jesus speaks. The Holy Ghost speaks. The Father speaks to us and reveals who he is, Satan. Just like Billy D said, he's a detective, just like the Lord had shown me before. He's shown me the detectives. He's shown me that some of them had demons, same as them being in the boat, because basically if you've got demons, you've got pillows and you try and get in the caravan, the ark, with your pillows, mwah, ah, ah. it's not going to happen. Oh, right, so now we can set properly. So, right, here we go. But I've got my camera upright, so we're never going to see the whole thing in one picture, but I can see the whole thing in one picture now. You just have to believe me. Here we go. There we go. Get in. It's getting better and better and better. So Gloria Gaynor. Gloria Gaynor. Hmm, interesting. Now, I will never forget. A painting when Amy was 21 because she'd only got back she'd been with Shane Black and um, her boyfriend she was 21 her boyfriend and they'd been in a camper they bought one unfortunately they bought a camper with the driver's seat. They didn't get a caravan. They're the ones that are the bad signs. Like an RV, right? And he's in there. He's dark and black. Because she takes me out, out to have a look at it. That's why his name is Shane Black. There's Glory watching the, um, Yellow watching the rainbow. There's my shadow. Hello. And... She goes away on holiday to Taka 
and things go wrong, terribly wrong. Her boyfriend emails me and says something's wrong with Amy. So he said something's wrong with Amy. He said she was outside with rubbish bags building a building a bivouac or something with rubbish bags and sticks. Anyway, it was enough for me to be concerned as a mum, but as it was, she, she got away on me again, just like my dream. And um, I sent for help. I had two people in the area to go check on her. And then I'd, I was ready to get on my motorbike. But then he said, oh, we've, ca we've packed up camp and gone. So I never got on my motorbike. I was going to go. And it was Nelson. It was the harvest. It's where they've had the hailstorm and the winds. Exactly where it was. It was... Uh, at an old sort of, it's sort of like a camp, you would compare it to Woodstock, you know, where it's got a bit of a tradition for hippies. I'm surprised I never went there. Because I used to live. I used to live in Nelson. Motuaka, exactly where the harvest was destroyed. So anyway, when she comes back, she says some strange things, like the sun feeds her, she doesn't need to eat. She won't be pregnant because she can control her body. And um, something that's not quite so strange, she tells us to turn our television off. Marty argues about that one. Um, and she says she has to take a break. I could take a break from you because um, this is she's separating away. We're losing her, and I'm doing what I can. So. One night I managed to get her to come over to the neighbour's house. We'd moved by then, we'd moved back into the new house. Because when that happened, oh, it was raining. <laughs> oh, if I had an umbrella. Oh, wow. Okay, so when that happened, I'm just going to get wet because you just can't miss this rainbow. So when that happened, we were in temporary housing, which is at the end of the street for the rebuild and we'd moved into the new house. Um, we met a new neighbour from next door. She came over, we were having some drinks in the garage and mummy was interfering and she'd already talked to the neighbours and the neighbour sort of tried not to look like it was theatre and he said, oh, I'd like to commission you to do a painting in my house and and I'll pay for the materials, so I went and bought the materials. It was going to be a... Well, I decided it would be a trip ditch, which is basically there'd be three parts to it. Because the canvas was on special, and I went with Amy and I bought it. Materials probably would have cost about 170 bucks, but they were about a third the price. It was an amazing sale. So I bought a lot of paint and everything. Oh, look. Woof! I see. Woof! 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 Um, yeah. So that was when she was 21. She's, uh... Ooh, what am I? I turned 23. I think she might be twinning. She's 25 in 2018. Yeah. She's turning 20, 28, 28 in May this year. So that's a long time ago to be working on the same painting, isn't it? Would you be a bit suspicious when you know that your daughter is hearing from the bottom of the to the point that they had a dream when they were 12 and they were in the cells, you know, down there in hell, in the cell, walking, stepping into people's cells, you know, where the Bluetooth line is, with the pillows, Walking into what she thought at 12 was people's dreams. Where in fact she was walking into their lives. So it's almost like those scouts can jump from body to body. Do you understand that? Because she's looking, she's jumping from cell to cell. And the first thing she does when she realises what it is, but she thinks it's a dream... She tries to find Marty and my cell. She said, I try to find my parents' cell, mum and dad's. So I, 
and she comes into our dream and she says, it's okay, mum, I'm okay. Mummy, daddy, I'm okay, I'm okay. Don't worry about me. Everything's okay, I'm gonna be okay. Well, the thing is, it's true. She is gonna be okay, and the Lord's shown me that, so. Oh, look, now it's a double rainbow. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. Hey, have you seen my flowers? I know this is just a, um, <coughs> a ramble, but there's a reason for it. See, this is the colour. These were, it was windy, so I tied all these up, and now they're all crooked, but this is Amy's colour here. See that rose red? That's Amy's colour, rose red. Ruby, Rosie, from the Bachelorette. Keeps coming up. Wonder what colour this one? There's only one that we haven't seen. This one here. We don't know what colour that one's going to be yet. But the white one only just come out after New Year. So the white one is the hero. So I need to talk about message in a bottle and the hero. The hero, the crush. The romantic crush. Now I was still a kid, but I was a wee bit older than I was when I um, had a crush on Mockery. Mockery, remember that was Donnie Osmond? See, because I don't really mean to be bringing it up again, but I've been looking at Gloria Gaynor. Because Gloria Gaynor sung in New York I will survive hey hey you know what that song is linked to do you it's linked to washing your hands and surviving the coronavirus oh there goes the swallows three swallows they move too fast for me it's about washing your hands and surviving the coronavirus. But the gay and homosexual community really love it. And it's got the word glory in it, isn't it? It's Gloria. Gay. It's Biden on the bus. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Yeah. It's all about New Year and Christmas, isn't it? It's about the communist invasion. Yeah, the Chinese virus. Yeah, so anyway, we're losing the prettiness now. I bet the sunset's going to be nice though. So this campus that Amy's been working on for six years now. <laughs> She sent me little videos of it and it's changed so many times but there are some different elements to it because it was supposed to be a native bush scene because that's what the guy wanted but she ended up turning into like a more of a fairy tale type mystical looking picture and there's no way he was going to buy it at one stage she did finish it but he didn't have the money to pay for it <laughs> she only wanted 800 bucks or something. Oh, I don't know. Might have wanted two grand. Well, I mean, having spent six years on it, it'd be worth it, wouldn't it? She is a really good artist. But in those six years, a lot of things happened, but mostly happened at the end, from about the end of 2017, when she realised she had gypsy blood, just before, before she turned 25. And up till now, this very moment, because... Because of um, Billy D, you know the blessing you get when you find the angel to a church? You get blessed. And I, I went to his Twitter. And then I realised my son, because I only follow, it's not even Twitter, it's Instagram. I follow my son on it. I never go there. And then I realised my son is following Amy. So I have a look at Amy's Instagram. It's Cole Ruby. And she's got this word there, all one, A-L-L-O-N-E, all one, in capitals. But she put one upload up there, 
and it was very very recent this year and it's the same painting she started when she was 21. I've seen it change so many times but I'm aware because I'd only just posted to Mark about two days ago that because I was looking through her Facebook messages that there were some changes going on there and she was showing me as a sign. So I recognised that she had two birds in her painting and it was native bush. She'd never been here. I've never shown her, shown her any pictures. But, and she doesn't even know my call. She doesn't know I'm called to be um, this fantail. Manifest as a fantail as a sign and a wonder. Anyway, she has a fantail in it on one side and on the other side she has a wicker. You know one of those annoying bush chickens that we have here? They're probably the most common bird, the wicker and the fantail, that I will see on a walk or just when I come out like this. And, and now the swallows are quite common too at this time of year. I can hear a more pork sometimes and I see the hawks. They're, type, they're two types of hawks, they're not big. But anyway, you know, of all the birds, there's a wicker, which is, he's a pain in the ass. Don't, I don't like him. And they're nosy and I, th I see them like scouts. I feel like they've got eyes and they can see. When I was in the glory hut, I know this sounds freaky, but that guy, Christopher, and I didn't even know that this was going to happen, but I can tell you now because I know he got Valhalla written on a white stone. He lives over there on those hills. He could probably see me with binoculars. Valhalla. And when he released death, the Lord gave me a vision of like a village, a village, village sort of grass hut, like in the Sudan or something. When and um, it was being ransacked by mercenaries or whatever they are and they're coming in with big machetes and cutting up families who are hiding and covering in corners and that was a vision I was in the hut and it was a slaughter and he, and they come in with these blades these black men Sudanese let's say they're Sudanese because that means the blackest of blacks and I had this sense of I had this you got to think of that in spiritual like Clerk has like the Lord has already given me the word Black Lives Matter in 2018 before it came up in 2020. And he'd given me the map of Sudan, the Sudan and the Sudanese. But anyway, I did look up the religion of the Sudanese and they do have some animism. They have a percentage of the old shamanism. And that's what it felt like because before I even met Christopher, I went for a walk and went into his land. And it was like, it gave me that feeling that I was in a voodoo land. There were chickens flying and landing in trees, like literally chickens. No one there, just abandoned buses and caravans. And, and it was just, it was spooky. So anyway... The reason I said that is because I just wanted to just throw it out there. Do you believe in the supernatural realm? Because I tried to Google back then in the glory hut because, you know, I felt that he was watching me with a wicker and a possum. Because I had a possum on my roof. Like I took pictures of this possum. It was acting really unnatural. But... Let's just leave it there, okay, because, well, I don't really care if you freak out about it. Because eventually all these things will come to light. They try and hide the fact that they can do it. But they can take on, I mean, Amy's dream shows us she can take, she can go into different people's bodies and she can look out an eye. She can look at the world. That's what the gypsy guy showed her. He said, she said, that you would be dead to this world, but alive in another. I've got to go inside, too many sand flies. Come inside, guys. So anyway, she's doing this painting, and that's why she knows what she knows. And I've got to, come on, 
keep watching. I've got to watch. Remember last night, Phil Collins? I saw him with the sign. Wake up. And then on the back, the Lord showed me that the words on the back of the sign was C-S-E-E. -E. And I watched the video again, sure that it was C. Because I thought, oh, they've... I'm going to go and look at it. And what I'm going to find is that, they've... that he's changed it. You know, like it, the sign said something else. And then he, he was going to change it in the video. And I watched it. And watched it, I watched it twice and I couldn't see it change and I, I thought well it was just in my dream the Lord changed it it was a vision and the word is see so today I've been seeing so now I'm on Instagram I hope you can follow I'm on my daughter's Instagram and she's Cole Ruby she's her old name and she's called All One I'll show you I wrote it down just in case you not familiar with the spelling. And um, I'd already noticed and mentioned it to Mark that she had the fantail and the weka. Like the weka to me is it's an evil bird because of what I sensed in the glory hut. And I just I sort of got to a point where I just didn't want I didn't want these birds hanging around because I felt like they were watching and showing somebody what I was doing. And the possum was the same. He was on my roof like that. That fable, that fairy tale that goes, <gasps> Let me in, let me in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I will not let you in. Then I'll huff, then I'll puff, then I'll blow your house in. He was like the wolf trying to come down the chimney. He, I, I literally thought he was going to try and get down the chimney some nights. Yeah, and there's a man down the road called um, Possum Pete and I actually asked him to come and kill that possum for me. And he just, I, I, it just didn't really click. That I said, I was serious. I really wanted to get rid of that possum. But I didn't know how to do it myself. And with his name, with a name like Possum Pete, which is really what he, he's done with his life, is kill possum. I thought he might be able to do it. And he might be the hero, but he was never a hero. He was, he's on the other side, you see. Everyone I've met's been on the other side. He's on, they're all on the wrong side of the fence, like Amy. But it's just a picket fence. It's no big deal. My flowers look good. So now, just in front of, she's showing me, and this is the way it looks at the moment. The fantail is still there, but there's a pink. It's sort of that colour, but lighter. A pink. She's got this thing for pink at the moment. It's a pink Tyrannosaurus Rex, really. Oh, it's a dinosaur. It sort of has a horn, but not. It's not a unicorn, eh? It's a dinosaur. I can't do thumbnails. If they stop me doing thumbnails, I can't explain it. It's the pictures. There's power in the picture. There's power in a picture. Billy, been watching Billy. Billy D said that. There's power in a picture. You know there is, don't you? And also on his Instagram, he has some um, little clips of the sky. And that's why I said, you know, and he said it himself too. I'm going to show you the, some of the clips of things. I couldn't, I've watched two hours of it and it's taken me about five hours to watch two hours because everything he says confirms things. But... I was looking at it thinking, you know, anyone would look at this and think, I... What's he looking at? Well, I know what he's looking at, and I'm just telling you now that there was a subtle beast, and so he said as well. So in the clouds were these wispy things, and they looked like they could be little angels, or I don't know what he was thinking they were. But that's what's in Amy's painting. 
and it's on the side, the other side, not where the so the dragon is on my side where the fantail is, and on the opposite side is this wicker, and behind it in the bush is this wispy sort of angel thing, but it's really like smoke. And in her Instagram, she has about four pictures. Then it's uh, taking the form of a, a female. And the females in each picture are progressively becoming clearer. Yeah, she's a wee green female. She's a bit like Tinkerbell. And she has pink flowers in her hair and her hands are out. And, and that's what's in this painting. And it's just out of place because now it looks like a natural bush scene with quite realistic birds. But then she's got this really mystical looking dragon. Tyrannosaurus, a big... You know, big, like the one in Obama's portrait, the big head. And um, little short legs and stuff in front of it, I think. And this wispy Tinkerbell thing, green. So, you know that the Lord said that because I know John, I'm going to give you a patu, don't you? A patu. It's an instrument. It's not even, it's not even natural. It's like a... It's a bit of a mystery why the Māori people have it. There is another digit. Uh, there's a, there, it, it can be traced back to another indigenous culture. Same with the tiki, which is one of their gods. The tiki is like normally about... It's a baby with big eyes, basically. It's an embryo. It's an abortion. It's a wee god. It's a tiki, it's called. Well, the patu's a wee bit like that. And I'm not an expert, but I, I know I know that much. So anyway, she's got this word... With that painting, and it's the only place because it's like her name is Cole, Re Cole Ruby, and she's got all one, all one. That reminds me, she said to me, you know, once she said, you know, everyone's a Mennonite, don't you? We're all Mennonites. Oh yeah, and that's a bit of a disappointment. She, the last picture she put up was a is a beautiful portrait, but it's of that man um, from the cult called Rabbi Wisdom from the called the 13th sun 13th suns there's 13 stars it's funny because that was a, that was a conversation I had with that fallen angel he had an army of 9 or 12 because he was doing the 9 uh, 9 or 11 because he was doing the 9 11 thing and the Lord had only just showed me that I had 12 on my back including me was 13 so 13 is my number and some would say it's an unlucky number wouldn't they But um, there's a lot of meaning. There's something about 13. I suppose if there's 12 disciples and Jesus, that's 13, isn't it? So 13, the 13th sun. I've seen it on Enter the Stars. It's a, it's a whole, it's in these boxes here. I've got all these boxes that I haven't got numbers on. It's in these boxes and I haven't bought it because there's so much that's not been brought in those box that the Lord is showing me now. And I don't know what order to do it in. It's just really, really overwhelming sometimes. But today I watched Billy because that's what I was asked to do and that got me to Instagram. And and I know that I looked at the little cloud things and then I've seen them in this painting of Marty, um, Amy's that she'd been working six years on that's basically about me. You know why it's about me? Because after that other fallen angel, the one that put the nail in Glory's eye, round about St. Patrick's Day 2019, just after that, the Lord said, I'm going to give you a patu, right? It's a close combat weapon. I know that it's something that's going to be it's meaningful. It'll be meaningful to the message that I've got as an angel to the Māori people. It'll be it'll be meaningful. Yeah, you know, it's a weapon. And my hands do this. It's called uh Petawehi or something like that. Gary told me. They do that in the Holy Spirit. I'm doing it with my hand, my own that's my own will now. But I can the Holy Spirit doesn't. He's been doing it my whole walk. 
And um, Gary pointed out, and I should have known it, that is what a fantail is. It's that. The Māori people do it all the time. Watch one of them. Watch watch them da da do the Māoris, the girls, do that. And they kāranga. I kāranga in the spirit. I'm not Māori. I do it in the Holy Spirit. I've never been in Māori circles other than when I did my Māori language course for a year. I've never known a Māori people, person from South Island. It's Redneck City, really. It's like America's Redneck City, South Island, really. And that's where the Lord wants to bring a message to the Māori people. And he wants to bring it to Naitahu. They're not even the stars of all the tribes, really. I don't. They've got a lot of money, though. Mm. Own a lot of land. Anyway, I know about the fantail because I was on a marae when I was doing the Māori course and a fantail came in. The one at Kaipoi. The one just down for Tua, I, Tua Hiwi, which is the one that the Lord took me to, the Tua Hiwi marae. It was the original pa. It's It means on a ridge. It's above the plains. It's a ridge. It's, a, it's more of a vantage point. Well, if you have to be on the Canterbury Plains, you want to be on the highest point. This isn't that high. It's on the other side of those mountains. That's the east. That's the west. There's the ocean. From east to west. That's how Jesus says, like lightning from east to west. That's where I came from east to west. And I move like this fantail in the Holy Spirit. And the Lord gave me a vision where I flew like a fantail when I had to do my wire And I was in the Kaipoi Marae as part of my Māori language course after the Lord had given me that dream vision. And just happened to be a fantail flew in. It's not really fantail area. There's no trees. It's going to be plains. The fantail flew in. And everyone went deadly silent. So no matter what they tell you, it means death. And that's what they do, the women. And the men, they poke their tongue out. And if you look at their, I don't even know what you call them, their gods on sticks, they all have their cocks hanging out. And that's normal, and no one questions it. And their eyes go really wide and they dart from side to side. They go googly. It's to intimidate. Because you're a warrior race. So I don't know what this word means, but under that painting, that's what she's got. That word. It's all in capitals. Um, upper caps. Upper case. And I bet that means something too. And it's patu. Patu pai pairehe. Patu Pairehi. Now, my Amy has no interest in Māori, anything Māori. Not that I'd ever known of before. So she's been on these journeys apart from me. She basically has been on a secret journey from the age of 21 when she went away in the RV camper with Shane Black. That's why I keep an eye on Shane Black. And that's what she's got in her painting. That's what the little green Tinkerbell thing starts as. And looks just like the uh, clouds that Billy D saw in the sky. And I've been looking. I thought, well, I'll go and have a look at Mariah Carey, see what she's up to. So when I first went up, and I told you that I went up to the... I went up the Horden Valley and I stayed in uh, St Andrew's Hut. It's a shelter. And then I went for a walk because I met the man who owned the Glory the Glory Shed, which he invited me to live there. And um, I spent the evening there and then in the morning I went for a walk up the Horden Valley truck, track and I couldn't find the hut. I've just been looking at the map too of it and uh, the hut on the map is still in the wrong place. And people are going to, it's just like, what the heck? Anyone who goes up there is going to expect to see the hut. Because you look at the contours of the land on this flat area once you cross the river twice. You know, it's very obvious. And you're there going round and round in this flat area. But the hut's up the hill. Anyway, I had to sleep out. 
I didn't mind, it was warm. It had been snowing that week. It was the middle of June and it was warm. The Lord said he'd wake me up at six and I saw the stars rolled up like a scroll and I was above the moon and it looked like that. And I see it as a shutter, an aperture. Well, I looked up aperture and I watched a wee video and I've sent it to Mark, to Mark. And Mark doesn't know what the hell was going on and I don't blame him. But I hope he's pulling it together because I need to document what I see as I see it. And he's helping me, he really is. So I sound this little clip of just studying what an aperture does in the camera. Now it's sort of different now. It's like it's like this. You know how they all come in an angle and they and they all go shh, and they swirl out and they're like that. Shh, 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 shh. Right. Well, when I looked through my camera, it looked like that. But that was in the '90s, so I think that's an old camera. So the old cameras used to go. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, so that that was what I saw. But I know it was an aperture. So there's this new way of doing it with those. Shh, it's a little bit, it's like, oh, well, it's a horrible thing, really, because to me it's horrible now, because I went and looked at Mariah Carey, and she's got all her little Twitter things, and, oh, she got commissioned to do a big Christmas show, she's been doing it all year, and preparing, and masks, and, um, I watched her little TikTok things, or tweets about it. And the opening scene is a star, but you go into the star and it's an aperture, just like I sent Mark. Just the reason why I did is because that's how the moon was. And um, I will tell you that the Lord has reminded me that I've had two very big demons come and visit me. And that's not actually counting Christopher and Nigel, Nigel from Tua Iwi from Tua Iwi, from the Ngāti Māmoi tribe. And let's just say Christopher, he's the shaman. The Vahala boy. And Shane Black, he hasn't really bothered me too much. He's the one who bothered Amy. But in my story, I met Bezelbub. The Lord of Flies, and that's what my husband Joseph has. He told me he, I know who he got it. He got it as a boy, just like Amy. His mates were playing around with a sounds, and he walked in. He knocked on the door, and he saw what they were doing. But he said that something dark entered him, and he was never the same. And he had nightmares. His mother. Couldn't, didn't know what to do and she took him to white witches and then eventually she took him to a church an apostolic church and he got he, he gave his heart to the Lord and that was what he revealed to me that he was a Christian but he was backslid but he was he was never a Christian he did it's how you, he was it was fear it was fear um yeah so Jesus hasn't been able to save him. And he's Bezelbub. He came and asked me to pray for him after he'd had a nightmare. He had a vision of a Māori chief. He had his eyes open. He'd woken up and it scared him so much he couldn't get to the light switch. So he jumped out a glass window and broke his arm, um, cut all his arm and ended up in A&E. That's how scared he was. A Māori chief. Why would it be a Māori chief? Because he had Bezelbub. And the Māori chief was after me. And he was on an assignment to marry me and do what he did in a very subtle way. In a very subtle way. Some might not say not subtle, but it went under my nose, went under my radar. And when he came out and asked for some prayer, because he had a nightmare when we were caught and I was sleeping in the lounge, he left me some flies. Told you they were hitting me in the head, I could hear them flying. That's Bezelbub. So he came after me. Now when I was in the glory hut, I was looking and asking for discernment from the Lord. About Amy, I was looking at a photo and looking into her eyes. 
and the Lord said Aphrodite. I don't know who she was. I googled it. She's Venus. Venus is Lucifer, isn't it? It's the one that sits on the shell. The one that sits on that shell. 